My patience is limited. Okay. Valongol! I don't know you. What do you want? Let's see, background? I am Valungal, a vocal guard, barrister. Okay, well... <laughs> let me, let me admire you up a bit. Great, okay. We can ask about the Monastery of St. Eridor. Valungal, I heard about following the money. What? <laughs> Do you know anything about this? Could you imagine you're a criminal and you're trying to find information on another criminal? And you go up to a lawyer and you're like, Valungal, I want to follow the money. Wink. <laughs>When we had last left the Nerevarine, their rip-roaring, high-flying adventures with the Andodran Thieves Guild continue, this time having further run-ins with none other than the horrendous man about town and wealthy scumbag, dirtbag Lord Extravaganza, that's right, Vermilius Vendici, who this time, after seemingly getting his situation resolved with local courtesan... Der... Dervara Deron... Uh, still had beef and wanted to possibly have her wiped out. In fact, perhaps many were at the table to wipe her out. But thankfully, the Nervereen and the Thieves' Guild stepped in and sought to bring her shelter at Bathwangthav, their secret base of operations that was rapidly becoming less and less secret. Now it was time to report back to Shay about the matters involving Vermilius and perhaps getting more work from Three Eyes in the dis in the nearby future. This is The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind, Tamriel Rebuilt. This is Morrowind Mondays. Welcome back. Zoop. There we are, and let's go have words with everybody, right? Greetings, friend to Oh, did we already chat with everyone? May fortune be with you. My bad. What a fool I am. <laughs> what a fool I am. <laughs> what a fool. <laughs> okay, let's go over and talk with Shay. I'm almost positive we talked with Dervara last time, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's... Oh. There's a practice dummy here. With coin purses on it. Am I meant to hit those? <laughs> <laughs> what am I what am I practicing here? You can practice the noble art of pickpocketry on this dummy. Oh wow, what? Your fingers feel quick and nimble. I got a little buff. Nimble fingers, sneak, six points, duration of half an hour. Oh. Does this stack? I don't know, but it went up to 11. Good lord, which icon is it again? I think I lost the buff. Oh, I yeah, I absorbed it. It took away the old one, but I absorbed the... Oh, shit, I absorbed it! Oh, yo, hidden functionality! Let's give it up for the Atronach sign, baby! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Mm, mm. oh yes! Okay, that one went through. What did I get this time? Eh, nine points. You know what? I'll, I'll keep that. Well, that might be amazingly more useful than the padlock that was here. All right. Hey, Shay. Blessed we are. You're back from your job. I was worried something might have happened. And Dothran is becoming dangerous for us. The Kamana Tong are clearly fully aware that we are back. And you invited a friend to join us. That is good. 
offering Devara Duran shelter from the storm was the right thing to do, Lyle Schnub. She knows people of high profile. If you have a price on your head, a word from her to the right people might be able to clear it. Are you ready for new jobs? I think I might be. What do you think of Dervara Duran, by the way? Even though she's not a proper member of the guild, it's good to have her here with us. Talk to her if you've got a price on your head. I bet she can help. Price on your head? You should speak with Dervara Duran. She is persuasive and has connections of high profile. I'm sure she could make bounties disappear. Okay, what about special job? Is it well, let's just ask about jobs first. Maybe now would be the right time to carry on with the special job Master Enderoth gave us. Special job. I've heard that Vermilius Vendici will soon leave Andothran. Maybe now would be a good time to ask for his help to find the Kamanatong boss. And then, when you find that person, you have to decide if you will follow Master Enderoth's orders, or, well, I'm not going to tell you to disobey them. Think for yourself. Vendici does have connections to the Tong, right? Hmm, I wonder if they will convince me to not kill this person, because right now I am... I am on board with... with killing them. Hmm, okay. Well, let's see, anyone else have anything to say about all this? You have something to say about Ghostgate. Ghostgate was built as the gate citadel of the Ghost Fence Ordinator and Buoyant Armager Garrisons. Now, since you've slain Dagoth Ur and banished the Blight, perhaps they should maintain the garrisons as a tribute to Elm Seavey and you, and all those who died to save Morrowind. Oh. Why do you say that? Is it because you have... Hmm. What faction allegiance do you have? That's That almost reads like something a member of House Inderil would say. These clones hmm. suit you well. Okay. Anything else around here? I don't think so. I'm surprised we don't have more security set up, like one of these cranks. Well, those looking kind of weird there for a bit, actually. <laughs> this is looking a little wild. Yeah, I feel like we should have a crank piston situation to help us here. I don't know. Or, like, lava, or get some robots. Something like that, I feel. Okay. Maru? How may I help you, Dunmer? Uh, what do you know about Dervara Duran? I had a very interesting conversation with her about the magical properties of certain mushrooms. A very well-read woman, it would seem. Mushrooms? The luminescent fungi are lovely in their own way, aren't they? They are. What about you, Tatar? Do you have anything new about... Yeah. We welcome you freely, Our newest member... She's something. A proper Debellin. <laughs> okay. What about you, Rilmus? She complimented my moonshine. Now there's a lady with good taste. Okay, wow. Well, I guess we are off on our way to Vermilius. It sounds like any second now we're, we're bound to get besieged by Kamonatong in some way. Okay. Let's do a quick save, in fact. How's everyone doing out here? Anything else I can ask them about? Please join me. Don't think so. Okay. Oh, should we do some repairs? Our spear could do with a little bit more. There we are. Great. And I guess we'll go meet up with Vermilius. I have to imagine that this will not go smoothly.
but in what way, I do not know. Oh shit. Ugh. Okay. Oh god! Oh, what a fool I am! I tried to get cool with the jumping. Okay, over here. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Can I jump this? Can I do this? Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, shit, okay, I can't. I'm a little encumbered, I guess. Okay. There we are, it's fine. It's fine. Well, of this back. guy. I feel as though I should know. Aren't you with the tongue? Yeah. I'm surprised he hasn't tried to beat my ass. You know, I think he's the only Tong member in town who's just like roaming around in open air who hasn't tried to beat the shit out of me. Right? <laughs> I mean, he's been here a while. He's he's always been out here. He tried he tried to like extort me and rough me up, right? Initially. Or am I thinking of I'm thinking of this guy. Yeah, Say this is the guy. Go away. He was out here trying to get some money out of me for being around here. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I'm surprised he hasn't done anything. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm surprised they haven't taken notice of, like, what, three or four other of their members just roaming around, getting absolutely fucking murdered by me? <laughs> I mean, in my defense, is it, is it murder if they try to murder me first? I'm just like, <laughs> it's a reverse murder. Okay, let's head on over here. This is Vendici's place, right? Let's go in through the front. There we are. Do another quick heal. Oh, look at that restoration skill up. You have questions. Familia's Vendici. Let's set aside our rivalries and talk, shall we? Ah, it's you again. I'm about to leave this province behind and journey back to Cyrodiil. Huh? What's this about a special job? Uh, yeah, special job. Back to Cyrodiil. I came to Morwyn to collect my new axe and take care of those troublesome letters. Now that my business is concluded, I naturally need to get back to my dear lady wife. What about Devara? Isn't it weird how she just disappeared like that? Apisphicus Thrix said he couldn't find her. It seems she's skipped town. Okay, special job. What special job? I'm trying to find the local Kamonatong boss. You are, huh? I think I might be able to help you. I know a thing or two about the Kamonatong and Andothran. Now, I don't know who the exact person you're looking for is, but I think I can point you in the right direction. I suggest you follow the money. <laughs> okay, what, what does that mean? Follow the money? Yes, the money. A code of silence doesn't matter one bit if there's a trail of gold that can be followed. And I think there is one. You should have a word with Vilungal, the lawyer. He has a small office here in Andothran, tucked away behind Elar Fondus' bookshop. Okay. Tell me more about this Vilungal. He's pedantic and unscrupulous, just like a lawyer should be. I've used his services a couple of times for... <laughs> we don't need to talk about that. Special job? You were looking for the local Kamonatong boss, right? Okay, same, same. All right, great. Can we speak with... Rals, was it? About all this? I'm still convinced that Rals is... Our, or Valves is our traitor. Oh, Valungal. He is a lawyer of some, shall we say, ill repute. Better to be avoided unless absolutely necessary, like his men in his like men in his profession often are. Okay, very well. 
Yeah, I don't think we're going full Better Call Saul, but, you know. He's not a criminal lawyer. He's a criminal lawyer, all right? Okay, let's head on out over here. Let's see, what did we write down? I reported back to Shay. She commended me on providing shelter for Dervara Diran. Since Dervara has connections to people of high profile, she will be able to make bounties go away. I was told I should go and speak with Vermilius Vendici about the special job to find the local Kamanatong boss. Vermilius Vendici told me that I should follow the money and speak with Valungal. Right. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Well. Where did he say he was, though? Special job. Follow the money. Tucked away behind Alar Fondas's bookshop. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense if you're going to put lawyers into Morrowind. What better great house to do that under than House Lalu, I feel. Okay. Let's see. Where is this bookseller? Alar Fondas, or something along those lines. I think they were over here on the eastern side, right? Guild of Mages, Trader, Dancing Cup, Alchemist, Olhay's House, Mavanu or La La Bla Bla, Coil, Fighters Guild, Vandrion, Gavros, Catcatchers, Tatara. Huh. Yeah, where is this person? Am I tripping balls? What was their name? Should I be looking for their name? I've just been looking for... Okay, hang on. Follow the money. Alar Fondus' bookshop. Alar Fondus. I've just been looking for bookshop, but maybe that's not right. Okay... Golden Moons, Apartments. Okay, Morag Tong. Did he say roughly what part? Oh, there, Valungal. Great. Okay. Let us pin that. Cool. And then should be right up this way. Well, this ain't it. It's behind you. Oh, I see what you mean by tucked behind it. Huh. Sure. I'm surprised they don't have, like, an office. Valungal! Is this you? My it is. Patience is limited. Lex Imperial Legal Basics. Valungal's card. Okay, we have to read this, huh? Okay, it's the same we had seen before. Did the card that we had seen before, had it not spawned into the game world until I had reached that stage what of the quest? Just like need? as a fun little teaser? Is that how, how like, micro level the detailing is going here? Okay. Maybe I just missed it the first way through. Okay, before we start breaking into My shit, we should probably talk. Is limited. Okay. Valangol! I don't know you. What do you want? Let's see, background? I am Valangol, a vocal guard, barrister. Okay, well... <laughs> let me, let me admire you up a bit. Great, okay. We can ask about the Monastery of St. Eridor. Valungal, I heard about following the money. What? 
<laughs> Do you know anything about this? Could you imagine you're a criminal, right? And you're trying to find information on another criminal. And you go up to a lawyer and you're like, Valungal, I want to follow the money. Wink. <laughs> I mean, sure, even if he's a shady lawyer, could you imagine? <laughs> okay, follow the money. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, I'll talk. You're trying to find the main culprit behind the massacre at the Dusky Lit Inn, right? I handle the Tong's payroll. I only deal face to face with the common grunts. I've never met their boss, let alone learned their name. But there's something I know that might help you. I've been ordered to make regular payments to one Leros Sadas ever since the massacre. He's the guy you want. Okay. I don't think we're familiar with this person. Yeah, Sadas. That's right. He was a top Tong enforcer around the time the massacre at the Dusky Lit took place, but left soon afterwards. Got a bad case of guilty conscience, I think. He's a monk now, at the Monastery of St. Erelor. Oh my gosh. But what's interesting is that even to this day, I've been told to keep sending him gold regularly. Small amounts, but they add up. I think it's pretty clear what the reason behind those payments. What's the reason behind those payments? It's hush money. They fear he might talk and want him to keep quiet. Okay. Tell me about the monastery. The monastery is north of Manan. The place is dedicated to St. Erelor. The monks there are former criminals who are trying to reform and mend their ways. A noble cause, I'd say, if I believed in that sort of thing. Criminals can't really change their nature. I would run out of business if they could. Oh, yes! Very good. Okay. Okay, let's see. Services. I, uh, got my hands full already. If you need legal advice, I recommend you speak with an old colleague of mine, Reynant Alcente of the Barrister's Guild in Old Ebenhart. Okay, how about this come on a tong situation? Some members of the tong have sometimes used my services, yes. They make very good clients. Code of Silence. I would recommend that policy to all my clients. The less you say, the less your enemies have against you. Lara Sadas. It's hush money? Yeah, okay. Same, same. Very well, I guess we'll go track down the Monastery of St. Erelor. North of Manan. We went there, didn't we? We busted a dude out. Or am I thinking of a different monastery? Well, actually, hang on. We should probably read this. Valungal told me that I should speak with Leros Sadas, a repentant former Kamanatong enforcer. Valungal says he's been told to make regular payments to Sadas ever since the massacre at the Dusky Lit. He believes that payments are hush money. Sadas can be found in the monastery of St. Erelor, where he's now a monk. Okay. And where exactly was Manon? There we are. Can't we get over there by way of Siltstrider? Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's head on up this way. Great. Let's see if I even remember how to find the Strider here. I feel like I'm always forgetting where the Strider is in, <laughs> in Antothrin, right? I feel like this is eternally an issue. Okay, up here. Great. Yeah, it sure as hell is, because it's definitely not over here. What the fuck? Okay. Yo, where is the strider? Can I see it from here? Who's, whose building is this? It goes incredibly high. Atreus Manor. Oh, shit. 
Okay, now. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay, finally. Yeah, I think my my assumption is that it's always over in this side of town. <laughs> and never straight over by the actual Baswangs of... Unless we're already in that area. Great. I'm pretty sure the Strider goes there. Okay. Ho oh there, Caravaneer. One ticket to Manon. Thank you. We make a special trip just for you. Same low. Yeah, we've had quite a few little run-ins here around Manon. And true enough, this is the monastery, isn't it? Okay. Let's jump over this way. I wonder if this dude was here already. Laros or Laros on our first trip through. Wow, look at all these crabs out here. Okay, head on up this way. Oh, look at this. How serene, huh? Great. Okay. So good to see you. What brings you to the monastery of St. Erelor, Outlander? This is the monastery? I came here to join the monks of St. Erelor. I'm told the curate, Drum Marvos, is a harsh man. Harsh, but fair. Okay, tell me about Laros Sadas. Are they here? What? Laros the Butcher? He's here too. Well, if even a stone-hearted killer like him is worthy of a second chance, then maybe I'm not a lost cause neither. But yeah, I've not been here too long. Don't know where he is. Sorry. Okay, fair enough. Let's activate our speedy boots. Hmm. May I help? Eris Berethrin? Oh, you don't have anything to say about that. Okay. Nor do you. I feel like we need to go to the lower levels. Right? Let's head back down. Down this way. Oh, what the fuck is going on in here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I vaguely remember your whole deal. Okay, it's been a hot minute since we were here. I forget, was that for the temple or for House Hlalu? Maybe it was like a combination. Well, shit. I'm never gonna find this fucking dude, huh? Okay. Hey, do you happen to know? No? Okay. Oh, wait, you do. Laros Sadas. Brother Laros is in the Penitence Cavern Scriptorium, creating new copies of the Gospel of St. Erelor. Happy to help. Yeah, how do I get there again? I think we had come here for both. For both the temple and house Lalu. Nah, may maybe it was just for the temple to do the pilgrimage. And the house Lalu one was we were busting someone out of a different type of place. Yeah, holy shit, how do I get there? What a fool I am. Okay, this way. Well, no. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, okay. Seems like it should be right here, huh? <laughs> How do I get over to it? Oh god, I've forgotten everything about it! I'm the dumbest man alive! Okay, over here. They made these buildings so accurate to the core game and their like labyrinthine design that you you also get lost in them. And 
and you're supposed to. <laughs> right? It's intended. That's that's the design at work. You're meant to get a little bit lost. What's he? There's there's no door over here, right? I'm not okay. How in the fuck? There's someone watching me. What is it? It really looks like there should be a door here, huh? What the fuck? Am I... Am I tripping so many balls right now I cannot even find the fucking door? I'm even like looking at the tapestries like holy shit it should it shouldn't it be here? <laughs> is it like underground? Oh my god, this is it. This whole time I was going by this, I was like, oh that's where we came in from. But then finally I came back through and I was like, wait a minute, but I came in through that. <laughs> okay. There we are. Good. Well, should we check in here in the cell? No, yeah, we definitely busted someone out. Look at that. They got a scroll. Little bread. Little paper. Little poop bucket. Little cup. Alrighty. Let's do a quick save just in case. Are you Laros? You are! Impressive. These clothes would you wear. Yeah, I remember. I stole something from here, didn't I? Okay. Hey, Laros. Yes, Sarah. What can this humble monk do for you? Hmm. Should we just start from the top? Yeah. I heard you were with the Kamana with the Kamana Tong at one point. No more. That is behind me now. What? What about the Code of Silence? It is the code of the Endotheran Kamonatong. That's in the past now. I follow the temple's creed. Follow the money, though? I'm. <laughs> you follow the temple's creed, buddy. I follow the money. What money? The hush money you were paid to keep quiet about the Dusky Alit massacre. Never mind. The hush money. Ah, that money. I've received the gold, yes, but I've not kept a single coin for myself. I've given it all away to the temple. The Kamonatong doesn't need, needn't pay me for my silence. After the massacre of the Dusky Lit, I vowed I would leave that life behind me. I want nothing to do with them. This is fascinating that there's... There's what what would you call them like outcasts, people exiled, or people who have who have just voluntarily left the Kamonatong. Okay, well, what about yourself? Yes, I'm Brother Laros. Tell me more about the massacre. Yes, I was there that night. I don't deny it. I lost my eye in the attack. But I also lost a part of my very soul. I came to this monastery not long afterwards, full of guilt and pain, looking for a way to heal that soul wound. You may think I deserve death for what I did. Maybe I do. But what else can a man do except renounce the violent ways of his past? and pray for forgiveness. The three will judge me in the end. You want to know who ordered the attack? You want me to break the code of silence? I do. What do you know about Vals Verano, though? I'm sorry. I don't know who you're talking about. How about Vermilius Vendici? Sounds like an imperial name. I'm not familiar with it. How about Velungal? Ah. The lawyer from Vulkelgard is complicit in so many evil things that it would take days to list them all. The money he tried to give me is tainted. Okay, well, yeah, can you break your code? Your code of silence? 
All right. I'll tell you who gave us the orders to attack the Deskia Lid Inn and kill the Thieves Guild members in there. And I pray that the example set by Saint Herolor will inspire you not to pursue vengeance. Enough blood has been spilled in Andothrin. The violence must end. The orders came from the Vendici Manor in the form of a letter. A letter signed only with the initials V. V. Do you know who I'm talking about? Vermilius Vendici. Vals Verano. Valungal of Volkel Guard. I don't know. Fucking Vals Verano. It's got to be. Yes, very good. A former lieutenant of Sergio Orvestren left to take over the stewardship of the Andothran underworld after Dren moved to Vardenfell. Vals Verano. Holy shit. A former lieutenant of Orvis Dren. Okay, Vals Verano. And earlier your ass said, you don't know who I'm talking about. The vow of silence hadn't yet been broken. A former lieutenant of Sergio Orvis Dren, who took over the Andothran underworld after Dren moved to Vardenfell. Verano succeeded in destroying the thieves killed in Andothran, but he was also smart and wanted to protect himself from the law and from the guild's retaliation should they ever return. So, he introduced the Code of Silence. Only a handful of us ever knew who he was, and most are now dead. Under the guise of Val's the Valet, he leads the Tong from the shadows. You have your orders to kill him, yes. I pray that you have wisdom to put an end to this cycle of violence. Go and talk to him. Perhaps you can resolve this. What do you have to say about Vermilius Vendici? I wonder, was he really so blind that he never realized that Vals Verano was leading the Kamonatong, using his gold to fund their businesses, housing, and equipping their enforcers under the guise of hired guards? Surely he must have known, but simply not cared. Okay. I bet, um, th as well, they may not ever bring this up. Maybe Vals Verano we'll talk about in a sort of like James Bond-esque villain speech. But the, the weapon racks and stuff, right? All the useless weapons and junk that he collects, it is kind of the perfect cover for them to launder money or, or not even necessarily launder it but funnel money from Vendici into the Tong's interests, you know? Because you can just say, yeah, I bought up a whole bunch of weapons. These were pretty expensive, right? Or or I bought up so many, right? And, you know, if he's, he's the one running that clerical work to kind of keep track of what items are coming and going and how much gold is coming and going, he can very easily fudge around with that, huh? Okay. Tell me more about the massacre. I already told you. I don't deny that I took part in the massacre. Vals Verano ordered it. Follow the money. I have not kept a single coin for myself. I have given it all away to the temple. The Kamonatong needn't pay me for my silence. After the massacre at the Dusky Lit. I vowed I would leave that life behind me. I want nothing to do with them. Coat of silence. I already told you, our boss was Vals Verano. And Villango? Hmm. Nothing else new. Okay, yeah, man, fucking nailed it. Great shit. Very good, very good. Let's see. Lero Sadas... Leros Sadas revealed to me that Vals Verano is the Kamonatong boss of Andothran, and Ruth's orders from me were to kill him when I find him. 
All right, and then let us recall back. I like as well. If you wanted to, you could literally play this so bloodthirsty to where you don't. Three blessings. Even this guy who is trying to repent and like sort of, you know. I don't know. Rehabilitate himself, right from his Kamonatong ways. You could, if if you were playing this Thieves Guild arc in a different way, in which you are, kind of aching to be the new Kamonatong in this scene, right? On this scene, right? We've already had various ways in which we could influence the shape of uh, the Endotheran Thieves Guild, but you could even you could take this guy out. You could still harbor a grudge against him if you wanted. Let's see if we can't recall. Oh my gosh, got it in one. Holy hell. Okay. I'm very curious how this will go. Because so far, we somehow have not had a retaliation attack. You know? Somehow that's not happened. Okay. Let's head on up here. Good. I'm guessing all of the defenses that we put in place and whatnot in our different choices. I, if I had to guess behind the scenes, they're like tabulating this shit. If I had to guess wherein sort of how many choices we make toward being goodly and how many defensive measures we have in place and improvements to the hideout will be factored against, if we choose to exact vengeance here, what the outcome will be, right? I bet it's not guaranteed, like, if we kill Valserano, there's a guaranteed retaliation at Bethwangthov, right? Or, uh, well, I bet there is a guaranteed retaliation, but the outcome of it, how many people die, uh, and the severity of it, is dictated by sort of our choices up till now, both with regards to sort of like interpersonal choices and and like morality choices, but also our proclivity toward getting hideout upgrades going, you know? Okay. Good. Let's do another quick save here. Oh, check it out. Huh. Not only is this guy gone... But so too is the Kamonatong guard out here. You want something? Oh shit. Valsverano is gone. Hey. Looking for uh, looking for Sergeant Vendici, then Mirjo must regrettably inform you that you just missed him. He is now on his way back to Cyrodiil. Both Apisrgis Rix and Vrals Verano are with him. Really? Vals is with him? Vals Verano. Hold up. Let's have a look at the rest of this. Are these dudes gonna fucking attack? Oh, look. Check it out. The guard we had trapped back here is gone. I don't waste my time on the likes of you. Ooh. <gasps> the axe is, has been taken too. Oh, shit. Okay. Hey. I'm watching you. Oh, nothing new there. Anything with you? Scram, fella. Familius Vendici has left the building. There's nothing for you here. Keep moving, scum. Okay, let's check in again here. Hey, clings Summoned to shore. By another. Questions again. The cat always lies. Really? What? What does that mean, dude? Huh. What does that mean? Back to Cyrodiil. <laughs> yes, he's gone. Ralsrano 
a peaceful rex, and a number of dark elfin mercenaries are with him. They are traveling by carriage to Kragenmore first, via Tain and Omenis. Mihir Joe thinks they cannot have made it very far if you want to follow them. Perhaps you may find them somewhere on the road west of Tain. Holy shit! Hmm. Okay. Do we think all is as it seems here? We can get into his private room now. I think we do that. What? No one else is up here, right? We can very easily get in here. me in my stupid little hat. Oh, shit. Look at this shit, dude. Ebonheart Fashion Trend Center. <laughs> Vermilius Vendici's Manor Key. Yoinking that up. Famed Artifacts of Tamriel Business Ledger. Okay. Just a bunch of rolled paper. Nothing in the desk. Anything back here? Business ledger again. Rows of numbers along with various abbreviations and remarks in a merchant's cipher. The purpose of this ledger is unclear. Hmm. Just clothes in the closet. Whole bunch of gems in here. I'll eat a diamond for old time's sake. Okay. What about you? Kajit has no words for you. Hmm. No, nothing in particular. Okay. Maybe it's maybe it's real, maybe it's true. It's very interesting that the axe is gone. Right? I think that is maybe something incredible. Okay. Good. I want to check back here real quick before we try and run as fast as we can to Tain. Alright, we'll check at Bethwangthav and see if everything is looking fine and normal. Yeah, everyone is here. Okay. Oh, shit! Nalus Ludri. You're Lyle Schnub, ain't you? Listen up, Enwa. The boss wants to have a word with you. He's waiting for you, in the Vendici Manor. Don't try anything stupid. We've got your friends hostage inside these ruins. They will die here unless you go now and talk with the boss. Got it? Goodbye. Oh, shit. Huh. Okay. But we have word that... That Vals Verano ain't here. There is no oh, shit! Okay. Well, fuck off then. I wonder if we do this, will they all get killed instantly? Okay. Hey. Anything going on here? No. Walk with virtue. Oh, I think they all just got fucking killed. Holy shit. It's happening. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at the fucking weapons. Oh, yes! The fucking jink blades, baby! Greetings, Oh my god, the fucking jink blades saved the day. 
They made him so fucking powerful. Oh my god. Okay. What do you all have to say, Rilmus? Go to Shay. See if she's alright. Shay? Is that... Is, is that all of them? Are there more come on a tong thug somewhere here? Okay, Tatara, go to Shay. Go to Shay. Oh dear, how horrible. Thank the gods you came to our rescue, Lyle Schnub. It would have been even worse without you. I know who did this. It was Val's Verano. One of the Kamonatong thugs said that he sent his regards. I suspect he has long since fled Endothrin. You should look for jobs elsewhere. We're done here. We're done here? Jobs? You should look for jobs elsewhere. Try Captain Fentis in Old Ebenhart, Gordol the Scrivener in Almasthir, or Fitzfitz in Firewatch. Huh. Val's Verano. That murderous fiend. Special job? All that remains is reporting back to Enderoth, I guess. I'll take care of that. You should look for jobs in other guild halls. Guild standing in Endothrin? We've wrestled the illegal skooma trade out of the hands of the Kamonatong. They attacked us, but we're still standing. Killing and murder? Unnecessary killing may be grounds for expulsion from the gill. Okay. Gordol the Scrivener? He's got a cover job in Elmas there. Go to the laughing scrib the limping scrib tavern and talk to Adosi Biran or Ilreni Ilerni Plurin to access his room. Fitzfitz. You'll find her in the basement of the Howling Noose Tavern in Firewatch. Speak with the publican to get the key. Code of silence. You broke their silence. Come on, a tongue. Brutes. What did I do to deserve this honor? Okay. Those Kamonatong thugs almost crushed its Lyle Schnub. If you hadn't showed up when you did, we'd all be dead. I'm sorry. I couldn't protect everyone like I thought I could. You still did really good. It's like getting the Jink Blades for everybody and getting them equipped. That was fucking clutch. Kamonatong? They ran an impressive smuggling operation in Endothrin, but we took care of that, didn't we? Rilmus? Gods be damned. What a bloody mess. I'm gonna need a drink. Marug? I'm alive, yes, but I wish I hadn't had the to experience that. All that blood and hatred. I think I'm going to be sick. Come on, a tong. I'd rather not speak of them. Orders from VV. Go to Bethwangthav. If you don't hear from me and see that pesky rat Lyle Schnub kill them all, VV. Iron Spark Axe. Fuck me. This is so fucking amazing. More orders. Guess I'll set it right there. Spark Blade, some money. More orders. If I ever see that elf, he's in so much trouble. <laughs> You're telling me, Tatara. <laughs> okay. How about back here? Everything good with you? All this bloodshed. Horrible. Simply horrible, Musera. So what did they want me for back at, um... What do you call it? A warm welcome to you. Man. I wonder. Do you think... Oh, look at this, yeah. It actually worked on a couple of them. It took two out. Master's Pick. Iron Spark Blade. Velocity Nilvan. Fiend Tonto. 
Okay. And Dothran Wharf Hideout Key. And Dothran Council Club Key. Orders from VV, same? Yeah. Dude, this rocks so much. I want to know how much of, like, that the Khajiit inside there. Are they full of, were they full of shit? Just completely? I am never too busy. Is there no way to catch Val's Verano? I mean, obviously, if you knew ahead of time, you could, like, kill him right then and there. You could, like, sequence break, I presume. But, um, I wonder if they were not actually out there on the road by Tane. And it was, like, if you go out that way, is that considered far enough away? Yeah, to which maybe you unload the cell of Andodhran and maybe there's, I don't know, maybe there's like a flag within the quest line to where if you leave and go after them and tame, the guild gets wiped out. Similarly, if you obey the dude out front and you don't go into check-in on your friends, they get wiped out too. I don't, I don't know what really led me to, to want to stay there and like consider, like, like I was considering picking a fight with them. But I, I just, I just stood out there. I was like, man, I was, I was debating. I was like, man, what if this is a massive fake out? And then I wasn't even afford the opportunity to, to act. And it, it works too in that sense because he, the other guy was like, man, this guy's thinking about it. This fucking guy is thinking about what's actually going on and then attacked me. Oh my God. Okay. So let's see what happens if we go in here. You want something? Mirjo wants no part in any of this. Val's Verano. Oh shit! What? No! This is full of shit, huh? This is to kill me. Master Verano is in the wine cellar. He told Mirjo that he is looking for a suitable vintage. Please be careful. Verano is a cruel master. Huh. If I admire you up higher, will you have something different to say? No. But you say something. Hmm. Well, you did. So now if we go down here into the, the wine cellar. There's the cellar. I'm assuming if we find any other Tong members, they'll Speak attack on sight. Or leave now. Huh. Why okay. Is it here? I feel like this is such a more compelling way to sort of line up the decision of, okay, are you bloodthirsty? And you want to go after Val's Verano? Or are you perhaps still a little bloodthirsty and want to deal with them? But like, where are your priorities? You know, this is such a, a, a good way, I think, to sort of line up everything and be like, okay, we won't just openly have, as far as I know, right? Maybe we, we still go out to that road and they're out there, right? But um, I do love the idea that that this is where we make our decision. It's not in a dialogue box saying like, oh, here's Valzerano. Valzerano does the villain speech. Do you want to kill Valzerano right here, right now? Instead, we get afforded this little weird opportunity. Right? To sort of think, oh, what do we, what do we value more right now? Do we value going after this fucking guy or do we value checking in real quick at the guild to see if anything has happened there? And it may well be that you go after Valzerano and, no, and no matter what, some loss is incurred at the guild hall. Why is it okay, here? let's go into the cellar again. I'm so curious how this all could have played out differently. Is it necessary that Lindelman? you speak with me? Okay, you're making pastries and shit down here. Bottles. Sacks. By the two moons, what are you doing in my kitchen? Can't you see I'm busy? 
background? You're a commoner. Do you have anything else weird to say? No. An honor to be sure. Imperial Kitchen 1 and 2, ABCs for Barbarians, sure. Okay, let's sneak into this cellar. Can I free the slaves? I don't think I have their key. Oh, yeah! Cool master, Vals Verano is no more. Simata is free. What can Kajit okay. do for you? But I don't know if that's true. I don't know if Vals Verano is, is gone. I mean, he's definitely gone from this area, as far as we know. This feels like a weird kind of booby trap place. Right? I feel like I'm going to get blown up in here. Right? Like we're going to look at this and it's all just like explosives or whatever. <laughs> right? It's all just fucking rigged to blow. Oh my God. Could you imagine that? You come down here, you look at it, and it's all just like nitroglycerin or whatever. <laughs> huh? Okay. Weird. Let's head on back up here. Hmm. Okay, let's go see if we can track this fucker down. I don't know if it, if it's true or not. We're gonna go a little extra long <laughs> for today's video, just so I don't lose my fucking train of thought. Let's see. They should be on the road somewhere west of Tain. But Thwangthov is under attack. I was saying for saving the Thieves Guild in... In, uh... Oh, he's probably long gone from Andover, and I was told to look for jobs elsewhere. Yeah, I wonder if doing that and prioritizing it has in some way made a choice. Right? I wonder if you can actually track down Valsverano, or if you're just sort of... being led around. I'm not even going to take fast travel in case that has some sort of detriment on us. I don't know if we can, like, have our cake and eat it, too. I think I, I would appreciate it either way. Whether we can kind of get, get away with this. Or, like, we can get both. We can defend the guild and... Whoa, what, what you is want? your deal? You're like a Bosmer meets Khajiit. Okay. Let's see, over here. On a road somewhere to the west. Huh, well that doesn't seem like someone I, <laughs> I should be talking to just yet. Road west of Tain. I'm assuming they would be in that carriage, right? If I had to guess, they're gone. Yeah, look, there's unfinished areas up ahead. Oh, man. I wonder if there's some way in which you can catch them or if it's always they escape. Hmm. And if they do escape, I wonder if it's in the cards, if it's planned that they could potentially show up again. Huh. Yeah, I don't know how far west need we be going here. I feel like roads west of Tain, we would have seen them by now. Right? Surely. Yeah, I feel like we're way too far now. Part of me wants to just load the other save and see what happens if I if I come directly here, right? I I I would bet that it's a fake out, right? Cause the Argonian said that the cat lies. Though I don't know why the cat would lie, really. I guess, you know, just regular torture. <laughs> just regular regular old fucked up torture. Huh. 
Yeah, I don't think they're out here. Unless this guy you knows. Just like that on purpose? Okay. Do you want to buy some pickled slaughterfish? Oh, not yet. Oh. <laughs> I'll come back to you someday for that slaughterfish. All right. Huh. I don't think we'll find them. I don't think we'll find them out here. I think they're gone from the game space. Right? Okay. Let's do a quick save right here. I want to go back a bit. Let's see here. Is this the one where I found out first and they were they were like, yeah, you need to go there immediately. Okay. Okay, back to Cyrodiil. They may find themselves... You may find them somewhere on the road west of Tain. But I think this is just a fake out to get the guild wiped out so that way there's one less reinforcement. You know? I absolutely think it, especially with how much... Shit, yeah, like that would be the perfect trade-off. You know? Shay saying like, oh, maybe it's not a good idea to be so bloodthirsty and try and kill Val's Verano. You know? So by, by way of directly ignoring what Shay has, like, I'm not going to keep whatever ends up being the case here, even if they are here and we get, like, revenge and kill them. I won't keep it. I'm just so fucking deathly curious. But it, it's perfect. Right? Because Shay is the one asking you, like, maybe consider not killing them. Maybe we shouldn't be so, so violent just as they are. Right? But if perhaps, oh, hey, what's going on over here? I think these are just some highwaymen. They look like Imperial Legionaries, though. So, Highwaymen. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh... <laughs> you like that? But, um... Yeah, it's kind of perfect that Shay might die. Oh, fuck! They are here! Oh my god, they are actually here. Let's get this over with quickly. Huh? What are you doing here, Lyle Schnub? Sergio Vendici is inside the carriage. If you want to talk to him, we're just resting here a bit. Trying to figure out which way to go. Let's but Val's is not here. And talk, shall we? What is the meaning of this, Lyle Schnub? Why are you in my carriage? Val's Verano. No, he's not with me. Val's and his boys only escorted us for a short while. He said he had some business back at the manor. I'm guessing he's somewhere there. What's this about? Did you know that Vals is the Kamonatong boss of Andodhran? What? Vals? Of course not. How could I have known that? He's just my servant. I don't know his every thought by the gods. You don't believe me, do you? You think I knew about Vals? He had all those Thieves Guild members killed. You think I'm complicit in his crime? Oh. Huh, complicit in his crime. Listen, I know you've got to be angry. You think I harbored a murderer and benefited from it. Well, maybe I did. But if I'd known that this was personal for you, I wouldn't have done it. I swear. It was just business. You're a reasonable person, aren't you? I know you are, Lyle Schnub. We can make a deal. The axe of Thoracles' bane is on the shelf there. Take it. Take anything you want. It's all yours. Just let me go. Okay. Hmm. I mean, no deal. No, please. You don't have to do this. Don't do this. Please let me go. No. Die, scoundrel. No! Oh, and he runs, too. There's, There were a lot of other things we could have asked him about there. Did you notice? Like I said, I'm not keeping this, however. Okay. Exquisite shirt. An imperial dagger. Exquisite ring. Huh. Very fascinating stuff. The Chiding Curus. Extravagant shirt. There's Thoracles' Bane. Cheese figs. Oh, this is amazing. And then I'm assuming... Yeah. And I might let you this live. guy might fucking kill me, though. 
Not unless I stunlock him. Look at him, he's got the fucking die katana and everything. Okay. Wasp Eater Die Katana. Oh my god, it's incredibly powerful as far as the enchant goes. Blind 10%, poison 10 points for 10 seconds. That is wild. And it's an AoE? Am I reading that right? It's in 10 feet on touch? So the blind and the poison have a 10 foot radius? That is really, really wild. Dragon scale bracers? Sure. Okay, let's load this up. Again. Over here. Good. And then, let's immediately go into the basement cellar area. Right? Why do you approach? Okay. Oh shit, Valsverano is down here. Holy fuck. Oh my gosh. I, I, like I said, we're not keeping this. I'm keeping my, my original decision. But I have to know. I have to know. Ah, Lyle Schnub. I hadn't expected you to be here so soon. I should have known better. What kind of a thief wouldn't sneak around in a supposedly empty manner? Well, here we both are now. Perhaps you can help me. I'm trying to pick that r the right vintage for the negotiations of a new truce. New truce? Seeing that the Thieves' Guild has broken the existing truce by returning to Endotherin in force, I think a new one is in order, is it not? I realize that our code of silence has failed, and you have found out that I am the boss of the Kamonatong in this city, and you, I take it, are the highest representative of the Thieves' Guild. Then let us parlay. I've had time to think about this, and I've drafted the terms already. I urge you to hear them. Drafted the terms? The key tenant of this new truce is coexistence, with minimal interaction. It is clear to me that your guild is not going anywhere, and if I let go of this territory, I am as good as dead when Orvis Dren, or our leaders in Narsis yearn of it, learn of it. In Narsis? You wrestled the illegal skooma trade out of our hands. I'm willing to respect that. We still keep our liquor imports, our various tradesmen, and the council club, of course. You don't harass us, and we don't harass you. We both turn a blind eye to each other. And finally, you will forgo this vendetta you have on my life. I plan to retire and leave Endotherin, and wish to do so in peace. The massacre at the Dusky Lit Inn was a tragedy for your guild, but it's in the past. It's done. Let the dead be dead, and let us, the living, look towards the future. You've heard the terms. Do we have a new truce? Thief's Maxim? There's only one crime to be caught. Vilungal? That rat will be dealt with. Vermilius? Ah, uh, yes, my so-called master. A self-centered buffoon. An epitome of the absolute worst that the Empire has to offer. He would have had Devaradiran killed outright without my interference. Men like him are the reason why the Kamonatong exists. Why it must, in the end, prevail against the foreign invaders. But I admit, his wealth was a significant help to our cause, and his cluelessness gave me a lot of freedom to use as I, so as I saw fit. Right. Which, this in and of itself isn't at all too different uh, to how Orvis Dren sort of operates things with uh, Duke Vadam Dren being effectively the leader of House Lalu and their close ties with the Empire. Let's see, Arnie the Scrib. I remember him from when the first truce, truce of Andotherin was made between him, Orvis Dren, 
and the big bosses from Narsis before he was forced into exile, an old man with a gaudy mustache. But it is from him that I learned the thief's maxim. Huh. That's fascinating. So, the big bosses from Narsis are like even higher ranking than Orvistren. Background. You know who I am. I am Musara Valsverano, the invisible hand of the Kamonatong. Tell me more about the Tong. Our organization is strong. We will outlive your empire. Huh. Man. Man, this shit is so juicy. Right? Especially when you take into account the the dual sort of shit in which of course I'm an outlander, thus he ascribes me to being to it being my empire, right? When of course, as we have seen uh here with the Thieves Guild, we care little for the Empire as well, right? We care very little for for folks like Vermilius Vendici in our own way. Huh. God, it's so well done. It's so, the nuance and like subtlety of it is so excellent. Tell me about Boswangthav. That can wait. Let us discuss the new truths first. Code of silence. It was a good code. It kept me safe and I anonymous all this time and allowed me to play two parts. Val's Verano the servant and VV, the unseen leader of the Kamonatong. Even if one of our own was captured and tortured by our enemies, only a tiny handful could have named me. Alas, no code is truly unbreakable. More on the massacre. I have thought about my decision to give the order many times since the massacre. Back then, I believed that destroying the guild hall would be a decisive strike, that it would put an end to this gang war of ours for good. I was wrong. It did not work. Evidently so, since the Thieves' Guild has returned, stronger than ever. Also, of course, the Thieves' Guild. In this way, also, not just us being an outlander, but the Thieves' Guild being... having been created under the Empire in that way, right? New truce. Do you find my terms acceptable? Shall we raise our glasses to a new truce? No, why shouldn't I just kill you? I feared you would say something like that. It would indeed seem that you have the upper hand. You are a formidable enemy. I am alone. Should it come to blows, you might very well kill me. But if that happens, what will become of your friends and the throngs of... Yes, I know of your hideout. We have eyes and ears everywhere. The reason why I stand here alone with you and not surrounded by my faithful dagger lads is that I've... <laughs> dagger lads? <laughs> oh, fuck, I like it. I fucking like it. Oh, my gosh. Is that I've sent my men to Bethwangtav. They have orders to attack it unless they get my signal to call off the attack. You hold my life in your hand. I hold the life of your friends. Shall we now make a total tr a new truce so we may so we all may live? Drafted the terms. Both of our organizations will turn a blind eye to each other's businesses. Okay, yada yada. These are the terms of our new truce. You don't like the terms. In what way would you change them? Do you perhaps want me to bear my neck down so you can execute me? Or do you expect me to surrender and go to prison? Go to prison? Why would I ever do that? I might agree to a life in prison if I was without any other option. But I'm not. Remember that I hold your thief friends in Mithwangth of hostage. I could have them all killed and destroy your guild for good. That's plenty of leverage. You tried that once at the Dusky Elite. You said it yourself. It doesn't work. It would be the honorable thing to do. Never mind. Hmm. I mean, we could go down all this and find out different routes for which this the, this could play out. Okay, never mind. The terms stay as they are. 
Now you accept the new truce or not. Give me an answer. I want to know, however, something else about this. Hmm. I bet I could kill you and still make it in time to Bethwangthav. I want to change the terms. Yes, no. Okay. I want to drink it. And, and find out if it's poison. If it kills me on the spot. Because that's what I would guess. Ah, good. That's good. If only all other Atlanders were as reasonable as you. Go back to Bethwangthav. I will give my men the signal to call off the attack. When I know I can't be double-crossed. We made a good deal here today. Tell your guild that if we both respect the terms, everything is going to be fine. But why would he? Why? What What reason does he? His, his leverage exists now to live, right? Honor our agreements and your friends. They are quite safe. New truce. And don't even think about stabbing Three me in the back. Huh. Okay. Sure. And then if I leave, I assume that they're all dead anyway, right? That is my assumption here. Felsverano. Okay. There's no way that they survive this, right? Is the only way in which they survive if you immediately go to save them, maybe? Okay, over here. Let's find this out. I'm so curious about this. Okay, the dude isn't here, but... Let's find out. Oh shit, they are okay, they are alive. Huh. Oh, we made a deal. Oh my gosh, and Shay is unhappy about it. Holy fuck. I wonder if you keep going, do they eventually turn up dead at some point? I can't I can't imagine a world in which this guy, while he's if he leaves town, in which he keeps the Thieves Guild here running. Right? That said, he did he he did mention that it was like impossible to full, fully stomp him out, right? If they want to fully stomp out the thieves guild completely, they would have to go for Endoroth, right? They would have to take out the leadership of Endoroth and like Jim Stacy. That's the only way to do it. Let's see. If we go back, is he still down there? I wonder. Let's see. This is incredibly compelling. I can't believe how many different ways this can end, too. Both by by way of, like, you going to different places and navigating dialogue in different ways, you know? Okay. You have questions. Good. God, I really want it to where if they escape, I want them to turn up again. Right? I want him to show up elsewhere. Yeah, not down here anymore. Holy shit. Man, that is so fucking dope. Man, that is wild. Okay. Well, let us load this one then, right? This is the one that we're keeping, huh? I think. Right, yeah, this is where I was out here back at Tain. Let me just double check. Probably long gone from Andothrin. Yeah, I wonder if he'll show up again. Oh my god. What a very, very fun fucking villain, huh? Gosh, is Vals Verano... I can't believe I'm gonna say... Is Vals Verano in this shit, like one of my favorite Elder Scrolls villains now? Holy shit! I think maybe second only to Voren Dagoth. Right? In the Tribunal. If you want to read them as villains, which I would. 
Though that said, the Tamrielic Empire, also a great villain. Right? But Valsverano definitely fucking up there, huh? God, I wonder if he would show up again. The, the real difficult part of this... Of having this continue further out at, at other places, at other locations, whether it be Narciss or whatever, is how do you handle it? You know? It would have to be in Narciss, wouldn't it? Which it hasn't been added just yet. But you would have so many different strings to sort of tie back together, right? Because it ends and there are so many different potential endings wherein he escapes as we have here, our canonical ending in this. Well, not canonical, but our ending in this playthrough. Wherein he escapes. Maybe we'll turn up in Narciss, but we don't fucking know. At the very least, we could hear talk of him. Um, we have the truce and he escapes. We have it to where he escapes, but Vendici does not. There's just so much shit, you know? God, I would love it if they turned up if he turned up again in the future, but like I said, there's just so many branching paths that I don't know how you would handle it. Right? There's so much. Would someone <laughs> Would someone really write out all that shit? Would someone do it all? That's a lot of fucking work, right? I feel like that we're getting to a point where there's so much differing reactivity and stuff that we're beginning to approach, like, is there even a reasonable expectation for them to account for it? I feel like we're venturing beyond that, right? How, how much of a reasonable expectation do we want to have on this person? Mind you, in a volunteer, unpaid project, to continue writing this right and like have everyone just like set up you know all the all the buildings and everything right the the quest line writing for that i uh, have all the characters and all that sh shit set up have all the scripting for it to pop off in such a way like <laughs> that's so fucking wild oh my gosh i think they stuck the landing Right? By way of having so many different, wildly uh, differing endings and whatnot, I think they stuck it. Also, there's... there's. I think they, they stick it by way of the secret at the heart of Tamriel Rebuilt. And that is... You never have to ship. Tamriel Rebuilt never has to ship as a full product. Right? No matter how far along Tamriel Rebuilt gets, years from now, decades from now, it could still be being worked on by a completely different crew of people, right? They could continue building it out and working on it. There's no guarantee that that they have to commit to an ending because the the secret to it, like I said, that it's a Tamriel Rebuilt is in and of itself. Similar to Baldur's Gate 3, but not exactly identical to it, is a unique situation in which you never have to commit to a full-ass ending. You can always leave it open, uh, the promise of more to come, right? Having loose ends. Like, for instance, a big loose end that we haven't really dealt with, and maybe they come up in another guild. But um, the old guy in Tain... Right? Don't forget about that guy. That was very odd, was it not? And also, um... Of course, Vendici's wife. Will she ever show up in some fashion? Huh. And then Dervara, there's a good chance that after a while, after this quest arc is done, she can finally leave, right? Like, we took care of the guild here. The the Kamanatong is wiped out effectively, as best we know. They no longer have, like, a standing force here. She could leave and go back to wherever the fuck, and you encounter her again with a whole bunch of other Debellan priests. Oh my god. It's kind of incredible that it never has to end. Right, I guess in I guess in this way, it isn't unlike like a live service game, right? If if I think about this in that sense, 
is Tamriel rebuilt the, like, ideal live service game, right? If we, if we deliver a bunch of different factors away, right? Imagine a world, if you will, in which we live where people don't need to be paid for their art, right? Everyone is able to live and subsist <laughs> without, without need of, of working, you know? So people can just go on and create like weird passion volunteer projects like this as much as they wish, right? We live in some sort of incredible utopia for humanity and people are despite the the incredible achievements we have created where we got flying cars uh there's peace on earth for everybody everybody gets along somehow there's just some amazing shit uh just we like physical debilities and, and mental illnesses are a thing of the past we've entered some sort of like star trek utopia period um then you could have it right to where this sort of live service game is is like financially feasible right we no longer have to wrestle with the forces of capital <laughs> right we don't have to worry about that you can just create as you wish unabated uh, without worry of of uh of of like oh i need to pay rent <laughs> I, I need to i got bills to pay and shit like that i gotta i gotta get food <laughs> right we, you don't have to worry about that but in this case remove that as well uh but you also have where the live service it continues being built up right it, it just non-stop has new shit always around the horizon it can continually get built out um you can see updates and, and new shit always on the horizon there's always someone working on it it's it's like there's no as well there's no cost for you you don't have to pay anything you always get everything it's all baked in because everyone's doing it purely out of passion, right? The people playing it are, are playing it out of passion. The people creating are doing so out of passion or whatever for it, right? It's just like this incredible work of art or whatever, right? It's the dream sort of scenario for, for like a creative work, except for the fact that we have, it doesn't exist in a vacuum. Of course, like I said, all of this is entirely volunteer work. <laughs> Oh, man. How wild to consider. But yeah, that's how it sticks the landing. That's how that's how you make anything stick the landing, I guess. But at some point, I have to wonder. You have to somehow continue, like, making that thread go on and on, right? You have to continue teasing threads, I guess. I don't know. Because for the time being, it works. It works so well. But there is, like, an implied promise that it will continue on in some fashion in another guild hall, or it will at minimum reference it, right? Whether or not it's direct characters continuing or whatever, right? Which, like I mentioned before, they have the opportunity for that as they build out more of the physical game space, right? As they build out more of Morrowind, you can start to add in more quests in areas that already exist and have them go to areas that already exist, right? Like for instance, imagine Narcissus is already built out. They have quests and stuff there of their own ilk and whatnot. Imagine you do this quest and then years from now after, Nar or months, I don't know, whenever Narcissus is done, you have it to where, sure, maybe not yet, there's a quest that has connectivity from Andothran, but eventually, after Narciss already exists and already has, like, its own Thieves' Guild arc, you could have, like, there be a quest flag to where you do quests here, and, like, if you have done the quest in a certain way, then these characters show up in Narciss, right? Or, like, um, Val's Verano shows up elsewhere in the world or is summoned elsewhere as part of some other event going on within the Kamanatong. I don't know. It's so... It's wild, right? I feel like this isn't a kind of trick that you can pull all the time, but it is one that, that you can pull because of Tamriel Rebuilt's unique situation, right? And just as just as well, just to sort of almost speak like a lawyer here and cover my ass, um, just as well, this could all be a fucking fake out, right? It could be, it could very well be 
that although it appears as if Val Zorano has escaped in some way, even as the game exists now, he is somewhere in the game world right now, right? We, you can find him somewhere. That is entirely possible as well, and I just don't know. The possibilities at play are, are flooring, right? But true enough, like I said, th this has played into one of the strengths of being an effectively an eternal, ongoing project, right? There doesn't need to be an end, <laughs> you know? It, do it doesn't technically need a one... Well, you could have a 1.0, right? Tamriel Rebuilt 1.0 could be once every single part of Morrowind is built out and there's like baseline quests. But there's no reason why after you have a 1.0, you couldn't have a 1.1, you know? And like I said, you start to fill out the existing world with more quests and stuff that changes over time. Once you have that baseline built up, then holy shit, it's like a different version of... The, yeah, it's a 1.0 version, right? Then you have... Every single tool is in place now. Every single set piece is in place. Uh, and you, you could just fucking run with it. Oh my god. The possibilities... Are, are fucking buck wild. All right, we, we need to fucking end this video. Obviously, sorry, no, no reading for this week. Uh, got fucking sidetracked by something. <laughs> uh, but yes, this is the ending that we're keeping. I'm sure in the distant future when we do another playthrough of Tamriel Rebuilt with a different type of character, uh, like I've said, next time around, whenever this will be, uh, we'll do a Telvanni character, and we could go very differently with this if we wanted. Man. Fuck me. How incredible, right? How fucking incredible. Hmm. All right. Until next time, please take care of each other.